only slept like four hours last night. And the little nap I took now is no more than 15 minutes. It's an awesome place here to fish. <clears throat> One of the best places I have fished here. I have never got so many yellowtail, so many red groupers, even a Goliath grouper. Never, never uh, in one spot. This is a good spot here. Drop, I'm fishing right at that drop. So right now the current's going this way, the drop is like this, and my hook is going right to the drop. And that's where I'm getting all those fish. Woo! What is that? That's a shark. That's a shark. Oh, he's taking on my line. Yeah, he's taking on my line. Woo! I think he cut the hook. You saw that? Yeah, there had to be a shark. He took about 400 feet of line. I've been reeling already for a long time. See what I'm saying about the leader? It does not fail. The leader stays put. Look at the hook. He strained out the whole hook. That was about probably a six, seven, eight footer shark. He strained it like butter. You see why I don't fish here with poles like this? Poles like this, it will chew it up, snap it. Light tackle like that, I won't fish here with it. That's why I fish with a very sturdy rod. You're not gonna be able to bring that fish up with a little tackle like that, a little uh, fishing rod. Not gonna happen. The fish is gonna win, it's gonna bring your rod, and you're gonna be emotionally broken. Don't be emotionally broken. Get a good rod. Heavy duty. That's why I fish with this. This is heavy duty for what I'm doing here. I got something, but it feels very light. I don't know if it was a shark or a barracuda, but it was aiming at the yellowtail. As the yellowtail was coming up, I saw this big shadow right behind it. So it had to be a shark trying to get it. That's it, I got another one. That's probably another shark. It doesn't feel like a shark. It doesn't feel like a shark. He went under the rock, but I'm going to get it out. Oh, I think he's, this is a big grouper. Come on, buddy. Come on. See, that's where the light bait, the little grunt I got. Come on, buddy. You're a big grouper. Come on. Oh, buddy, come on. Come on. He went on the rock again. This pole is cracking everywhere. Can't hold the pole no more. He's under a rock. 
Yep, he's inside of a rock right now. Taking a little break. Meanwhile, I need to take a break too. Yeah, he's inside of a rock. So I'm gonna wait until he gets out. He's a big grouper. I think he's a red grouper. Oh yeah, he's under a rock. I'm gonna have to wait until he decides to get out. I have to put a new weight because it did go under the rock. So I couldn't get it out. So that's what a light bait does to you. You catch a fish so big that you can't bring it up. to get close to barracudas they got teeth if I get injured with that barracuda I'll be some trouble I don't think I want to use my tourniquet anytime soon got something here yellow tail but it's too small catch a bigger one it measures 12 inches but I don't want to catch that one I want to catch something bigger something with a little bit more meat I got two more to put in the cooler after that I can't put no more so I better get the last ones a little bit bigger This is a lane snapper, but it's too small. A little lane snapper, but it's too small. A lot of variety of fish down there. Yellow tail, but this one is still small. Some of them make it almost close to 12, but they just a little bit too small. Beautiful little fish. I got one too. Yellow tail, nice one. Nice yellow tail. This one's about 13 inches. I need one more to complete my 10. I got another one. Woo. Another yellow tail. Let's see, what's the size? I think this one makes the cut. Yeah, this one makes it to 12. Yep, made it to 12. Little baby grouper. Little baby grouper. It's time to go. I already got 10 yellow tails total and two big groupers. So, and now I have to look for an anchorage that have never been. Start closing some windows here. 
Make it a little splashy. All right. Oh, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Nice anyway. 
the Canton Key is about 20 to 25 miles away from Bahia Honda on the Gulf side. No, no service. It is 4.50 right now. Look how calm the ocean and the uh, Gulf is. If only the ocean would be like this all the time. You could travel so far. But when the ocean is upset, you cannot go that far. This is the best way to navigate. Using the autopilot on water this calm, feels like you're sitting just in the couch at home. Some viewers in the past told me, go to Marquesas. I went around to the Marquesas no big deal if the military uses it to target practice how nice could it be so i don't think that marquesas is a nice place maybe somebody found a good spot but the area that i went the atlantic side it was no big deal it is 6 30 right now and i got 26 more miles to go i don't want to approach that anchorage at nighttime because I have never been there and it's very low water, very shallow water. I'm trying to make it there before sunset and hopefully I can stay there because if I can't stay there I will have to go back to Bahia Honda and I cannot navigate that water at nighttime. A lot of shallow waters and a lot of caves, sandbars. And daytime is the only time that I'll be able to navigate that. So I hope that I can stay there. And I've never been there before. And I only got about three hours more of sunlight. Five miles per hour I'm doing 3.3 3.3 and 26 to 25 miles per hour 3.3 is unheard of on this boat the reason it's doing that much fuel economy is because the weather is just flat look at that if it was wavy I'll be doing 2.8 so this is great Great miles per gallon. See constant key. And way up there in the front. You should be there in about three miles. Today is a long run all the way from uh, Dry Tortugas to here, it's about 110 miles to get here to Constant Key. All the way from Tortugas, all in one day. All right, I made it. Let's see how I get in here, because it's really shallow. It's about three feet here.
But look at this. Look how much mangrove snappers are down there. Look at that. It's full of mangrove snappers. Look at that. Full of mangrove snappers. I guess I'm going to be fishing here. There's so much mangrove snapper down there. The water's so clear. Oh, there it is. It's a grunt. Now I can't go in there because the tide's too low. So now I gotta look for a place real quick. It looks like 
think I'm going to make it to Bahia Honda. I got five more miles. I don't know this area here that well, so I don't know where to anchor around here. Now I'm in deeper water, 11 to 7 feet. This area in the chart plotter is not that accurate. When it says 4 feet, it could be 3. Or when it says 6, it could be 3. It could be 4. It's not that accurate. 5 more miles. that I can anchor. I'm going to stay in a very remote place here that I have stayed before, but not overnight. Uh, since I know the area, I know how deep the water is. I am back in the United States of America. It's a military, military uh, target practice place, I think. Well, that is kind of garbage too because I couldn't go through there. It was too shallow because the tide is low. But you have to make sure the tide is high so you can get in. So now I'm going to an anchorage. I gotta start cooking, cleaning, the open the clock. I got I got fish to clean. I'm going to clean. Okay. Alright, there it is. That's how we spend the night. Your music. Your music way over there. Okay, so on grouper. Here's a big one right here. All right, that's all today's. Today's catch. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Fish is clean. Look at this yellow tail. It's huge. Okay, now to pack them up really good, 
and I'll start making some ice tonight. Put this one here. Oh, perfect. Pack is in here. The water's out. Fish is safe for transporting. We're gonna have full moon almost tonight. Tomorrow is gonna be full moon. But this is an awesome anchorage here. Because right now, the only two sailboats is that one way over there and that one over there. Uh, they're pretty far. So they will not listen to my generator. But it's gonna be a beautiful night. I like this anchorage here because not a lot of people use it. I gotta put my navigation light on. Yeah, if you ever go over there, ever, and towards the Gulf, be very careful because the waters are really shallow. It might say five, you end up with three might say six you end up with three I mean the water levels over there is the worst water levels I've ever seen uh, I've been in the Bahamas in a lot of places shallow and this markings here in the sharp ladder they're the worst under low tide whatever markings you have in your GPS is the low tide if it says three feet it'll be three feet at low tide well not in this case when it says six on this side it will be three so I think they have a huge error on the chart plattering on all this area here, all the way to the Gulf. Big, big, I mean, I, I won't even rely on that to go through there again, ever again, because everything that I looked in the chart plotter was misleading 100% on this side here. I've been a lot of places, even on the way over here from Dry Tortugas, everything was accurate. This here is not accurate. So be careful if you do come here. Be very careful. I can feel the noceums flying from the trees over there. So I gotta get back inside and start cooking. There's no seams don't like air conditioning. It's beautiful. This is what I like. I like secluded places like this. But look. Look at the sharp plotter. It says six feet, but it says six feet right there. That little number there, six feet, and it says six feet here. That is accurate. This here, I have encountered very accuracy in this side here. I have never had problems. But yeah, on that side, uh, if you do come here, be very careful, because it's not very reliable on the marking or the depths. All right, it's cooking time. I got a nice sirloin steak that I'm going to cook it with some mushrooms. I'm going to cook potatoes. Let's see what we got here. One sirloin steak and two potatoes. I'm just going to get the mushroom over there. There you go. Put the big ones. I'm going to put the potatoes first because they cook pretty quick. Potatoes cook very quick. All right, so we're gonna cut it in like that, so they have surface square to touch. So that way, each surface would touch the pan. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get one bacon. That's where I'm gonna get the oil to cook the potatoes from one bacon. I'll put the bacon in and I'll slide it around. I'm cooking a little fast because it's late. I wasn't expecting to be here that late. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move around the uh, bacon on the skillet and that fat is gonna cook the uh, potatoes. And then later I'll put the steak in with some mushrooms. I'm gonna start the grill. With the bacon fat, I'm gonna cook the potatoes and also it's going to infuse the uh, steak then I'm gonna put the uh, mushrooms on top of the steak it's gonna be an awesome meal I've been eating fish for two days so it's time to give it a break maybe tomorrow
Oh no. This is the only place that you don't have to put the curtains up. This is pitch black. I don't put the curtains up here. It's just like bimini. That's why I like it being secluded because I don't have to put the curtains up. Because at night, I don't like people looking inside. I like my privacy. Once the potatoes have 15 minutes in the skillet with the bacon, then after that, I flip them and I put the steak in. So, oh, cook quick. Look at this. Perfect. That's how I like it. And the potatoes came out perfect too. Mushrooms are on top. I cooked this meal real quick. And look, the bacon is here. Love my uh, prime rib steak with mushrooms. I got some A1 sauce that I transport here. My A1 sauce. Let it swim on the steak. And I got some ketchup. When you're navigating, especially far like this, you always gotta eat good because you get exhausted. Look at that. Beautifully done. It's not overcooked. Potatoes look great too. Can't believe I did everything. Cleaned the fish, took a shower, cooked my meal. And it's 9.30 right now. Clean up. I don't get tired of being on the boat. It keeps me uh, disattached from the world. Being in the water, it's, uh, I guess is what helps. What? Captain speaking. No, I'm making coffee right now. Making ice, this is like the third batch that I make already. I'll make about four batches of ice and that should keep the fish cool and then tomorrow when I get back to the marina it'll give me a bag of ice um, for me staying there I'll put another bag of ice and that should be okay to the next day I'll keep making ice though through the night all right guys I'm gonna take some rest now and I'll continue this trip on the next video 